in the house of prayer everywhere at Holy Cross, giving the Lord the praise and glory and the honor. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Somebody open your mouth and thank the Lord that the word is going around the world. Somebody bless the Lord that the house is going into nations and generations. Come on, somebody. We bless the Lord. Look at somebody and say, oh, I'm so glad you made it. number of psalms Amen. and then we will move to Matthew's the sixth chapter verses 6 to 13 and it reads I will extol you my God O King and I will bless your name forever and ever yes. Yes. every day I will bless you every day I will praise your name forever and ever Amen. great is the Lord and greatly to sure. be praised yes. and his greatness is unsearchable Hallelujah. one generation shall praise your works to another right and shall declare your mighty acts. Yes. I will meditate on your glorious splendor yeah, yeah. of your majesty yes. and on your wondrous works. Men shall speak of the might of your awesome acts yes. and I will declare your greatness. They shall utter the memory of your right. great goodness right. Right. and shall sing of your righteousness. Right. The Lord is gracious Hallelujah. and full yes. of compassion, Amen. slow to anger yes. and great in mercy. Yes. The Lord is good to all. Amen, amen. And his tender mercies are all over his works. Yes, yes. All your works shall praise you. Yes. And your yes, saints, saints shall bless, bless you. Yes. Yes, they shall speak of the glory of your king. Yes. And talk of your power. Amen. To make known to the sons of men his mighty acts. Yes. And the glorious majesty of his kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting yes. And your dominion endures throughout Hallelujah. all generations. The Lord upholds all who fall yes. and raises up all those who are bowed down. Yes. The eyes of all look expectantly yes. to you, Amen. and you give them their food in due season. Amen. You open their hands and satisfy the desire Amen. of every living thing. Amen. The Lord is righteous in all his ways. He is. Glorious in all his yes. ways. Yes. The Lord is near to all who call upon Hallelujah. him. Hallelujah. To all you, who Jesus. call upon him in truth. Yes. Oh. He will fulfill the desire of those who fear him. Yes. He also will hear their cry yes. and save them. Amen. The Lord preserves all who love Hallelujah. him. But all the wicked he will destroy. Yes. My mouth shall speak the praise yes. of the Lord. Yes. And all flesh, all flesh shall bless his holy Amen. name yes. forever yes. and ever. Amen. Amen. Matthew 6. But you, when you pray, yeah. go into your room, and when you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in the secret place. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. But when you pray, do not use vain reputations as the heathens do, for they think they will be heard for their many words. Therefore, do not be like them, for your Father knows the things you have need of before you ask. In this manner, therefore, pray. Our Father in heaven, yes. how will it be your name, yes. your kingdom come, yes. your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Yes. Give us this day our daily bread, yes. and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Yes. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Yes. For yours is the kingdom, Amen. and the glory, yes. and the power, forever and ever. Amen. 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 In your hearing. Matthew 6, verses 6 through 13. May God continue to bless the readers, hearers, and doers of his holy word. Let us pray. Oh, gracious God. Hallelujah. Lord, how we lift you up and we magnify your name on this morning. We thank you, Father God, for your grace and your mercy on this morning, Lord. For you have allowed us, Father God, another opportunity to come together, God, to worship you, God, to give you all the praises that only you deserve, God. So, Lord, we just thank you for the gathering, Father God. We thank you for those who are in the house right now, Father God, and those who are on their way, God. We thank you for our World Watch partners all over the world, Lord God. And ask that you would bless them, God, as we receive this word on this morning, Lord God. Father God, we pray now and ask that you would touch our bishop, your son, Bishop Sean Hill, Father God. A 
anointing from on high, God, from the top of his head to the soles of his feet, Father yes. God, as he stand, Lord God, to share your word with your people, Father God. We thank you for this mighty man of God, Father God. We thank you for your mighty acts, Lord God. Yes. But we can see you, Lord God, through him, Lord God, as he stand, Father God, to feed your people, Lord God. Have your way in him and have your way through him. In the name of Jesus. And then, Lord, not, not just bless this house, Lord God. But we pray and ask that you would bless everyone standing, man, woman, yeah. child, standing to share your word yeah. on this morning with your people, Lord God. Just let us stand in unity, Father God. Yes. Unify us in heart and spirit, Lord God, in your spirit, Lord God. Hallelujah. Have your way on today, Lord God. Bless us with your word, Lord yes. God. Open our ears of understanding, yes. Lord God, that we can hear and understand your word, Lord God. Yes. Let it find fertile ground, Lord God, that we yes. will reap a harvest, Father God. Hallelujah. That we will carry this word throughout yes. this week, yes. Lord God, sharing it everywhere we go, Father God. Hallelujah. We just thank you, Lord thank you. We bless you now, we Father God, for what you're about to do. Hallelujah. And it's in Jesus' name Jesus that I just, name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. It's good to see you. Amen. 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 Praise God. God. Amen. It's another day's journey. Amen. And I'm glad about it. Amen. Amen. I woke up with my, my use and activities of my limbs. Hallelujah. And talk. And Hallelujah. Hear. And it didn't have to be that way. Amen. But I praise God that it is. Because it could have been another way. Amen. Somebody, somebody's a, alarm clock is still ringing right now. Amen. 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 That alarm Amen. clock is not what Amen. raises you up in the morning. But it is a And for this, we ought to say thank you. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Thank Amen. You, Lord. Have you all thank greeted one another? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You said hello to everybody that's here. Hello to those I haven't got to touch yet. I will get to you. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. Uh, you may be seated. Just a couple of housekeeping before we move further along. Just a reminder, today is the last Sunday in the month of June. Amen. God has brought us halfway through the year. Can you believe it? We just started it and we're already at the halfway mark. Amen. So we praise God for keeping us from January through June. Yes. And we know that officially July 1st is our sabbatical. Our church sabbatical from July 1st through July 31st. Amen. Which means there will be no nightly meetings. Amen. But we will be here every Sunday in the morning glory. Amen. Amen. Every Sunday. And leaders, we are to keep in connection with one another. Amen. Just because we're on sabbatical doesn't mean that we can't speak to one another. Right, right. We can't Amen. check in on one another. We can't pray for one another. Amen. 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 So let's do that. And we want to definitely keep all of our families who are going through a season of bereavement. We want to keep them in prayer to let them know that God is near. Yes. Yes. You're not walking alone. Yes. He is near. Yes. Amen. And there is no sorrow on this earth that heaven cannot heal. Amen. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. 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 We've all been through a loss, but we're still here. We're still praising God because he has brought us through. We may have the scar, but it doesn't hurt as much. Amen. 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 It's still there. So we're reminded. But we don't hurt as much as we used to. Amen. Amen. We can turn that frown into a smile and give God the glory and the honor for keeping us. Amen. 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 And also just be prepared when we do return. That first Sunday in August is Heap Sunday. Amen. Amen. So we are to have our special sacrificial offerings over and above your tithes, your offerings, and your first fruit. Amen. Have that prepared. For August, you got a whole month to save up, Come on. to sacrifice. If you vowed a certain amount, God has 31 days to get it in your hand. Amen? Amen. But we know he can do miracles. Yes. Yes. He's a right now, God. Amen? So he can do it right now if he so chooses. But you can't trust him for the next 31 days. 
21 days that he will put it in your hand and you will be able to Amen. put it into the storehouse that there may be room for you. Amen. There will be room for you to receive the blessings that God has from his open heaven. Amen. Unlimited blessings. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Um, I believe that's all I have. For those of you that have celebrated a birthday in the month of June, are you in the house? Anybody that had a June birthday? Woo! Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, praise God for you and your new journey of life moving forward. And uh, just get prepared. We're going to be trying to celebrate everybody's Amen. birthdays Amen. moving forward. Amen. So thank you for your time. I am turning it over to our presiding Pastor Bishop Shanti, come on, y'all, just stand up on your hands. Let's receive the man of God as he comes. Let's honor him. Let's appreciate him for all that he does.
I know you all got online this past week just to touch bases and get ready to launch again. And so coming into August, you will be every other Thursday evening, you'll be meeting with Servant Kimberly MacArthur, you'll be meeting with Minister Denise Jackson and other leading ladies of this house that you can be discipled. And my understanding is that you all are about to do the Experiencing God journey. And if you have never been a part of experiencing God as a curriculum, I am going to encourage you. I'm recommending that you do not miss when the women of hope gather. It's going to be a life changer. Amen? Amen. All right, so we can all clap again. We can all clap again. <laughs> Go with me to Second Chronicles. Let me prepare us for our grace giving. I want to again uh, just honor all of those who are faithful to this ministry. I'm blessing and I'm praising the Lord for you. Um, I'm going to say something and I'm going to be careful how I say it because we are online and we're live. But um, I want to personally, publicly, purposefully, passionately, Give great appreciation to the members of the house. Amen. I was at a home going service yesterday of a pastor. Younger than me. I've served with him, preached his revival. Brother Patrick got me up to Sacramento yesterday to attend his homegoing service. Younger than me. Yeah. And they were extolling him, as you would imagine, at a homegoing service. I pray y'all will show up and say some nice things about me. Amen. 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 Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. If you're not up for it, I'll hire you. I'll leave you some money. <laughs> for you. <laughs> you know, they have professional borders in Jerusalem. They pay people to cry for you. I don't mind. I'll give you some professional borders. But we were at the service, and, um, you know, they're all just bragging on Pastor, how wonderful Pastor is, Mama. And I was, you know, appreciating that. But there's another side to that that I didn't appreciate. And I'm going to be careful how I say this. They were all bragging about how hard he worked. Full-time job and a full-time pastor. Some shit, they was all getting up, talking about how he'd get off work, go straight to them. How he poured into his family, how he just didn't get no rest, didn't get no sleep. And he had a stroke. And then he came back, went right back to work, went right back to full-time pastor. A year later, had a heart attack and died. Mm -hmm. Younger than me. And I understood what they were saying. I said, Mary, I, I, I get it. I know what they was appreciating and all that. But you know what? I shook my head at that service. Mm -hmm. I know that's right now. Yeah. You understand what I just said, sir? Yeah. I shook my head at that service. I love everybody, but that's not to be my lot. I love everybody. Amen. I appreciate yeah. you all. But let me tell you why I truly, truly appreciate you all. You let me do what God's called me to do. Yeah. Now, come on, house. Churches don't even want to support pastors no more. They get mad when you're full time. I used to pastor church that fussed about paying me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Never mind, y'all. Forget what I just said. You all, yes. you make it happen. Amen. You let me wake up every morning to do what God has called me to do. Yes, man. When I stand before you, Dre, I have no excuse. If I stand before you and I don't have three points, it's my fault. No, well, man. Because, Bishop, we free you up to be in the Word. 
and we free you up to make hospital visitations, and we free you up to show up for mourning families, and we free you up. Now notice, I don't do too much meetings with the mayor. I let Servant Pamela and them do that. I don't, I don't. I love y'all, but I don't need to be in the meeting with the mayor. I need y'all to know the mayor. I need you to know the city council. Yes. I need to be able to preach and pour into you so when you meet with them, you know what to say on God's behalf. Glory. Glory. Are y'all getting this? Glory. Listen to this scripture. Listen to this scripture. Listen to this sermon, Brendan, because I think sometimes we miss this part because we're so concerned about the budget. We're so concerned about <coughs> making the budget. And I thank y'all because every week I can get a two piece and a biscuit. Say amen. 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 I appreciate that. But look at this, 2 Chronicles 31, and verse 4. We're getting ready for the heaps. 2 Chronicles chapter 31, verse 4. Just watch this. If it is, I am. Moreover, And we 
we thank you that as we give, we will receive good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. We declare it already yes. done. Lord. And the giver, the tither, and the sower that agreed said amen, amen, amen and amen. amen. Would you jump to your feet with me? Let's get a confession over our giving, and let's get our World Watch partners prepared to go through your platforms and portals. The media team is giving you direction. If you would just look on the page, you will see a link. Just push that link. It will take you directly into protected and secured giving. If you're a member of the house, your partner prayer everywhere, you already know what to do. If you're giving for the first time, would you let us know? This is the first time I've ever sown into this ministry. We want to know that because we want to connect with you. And we have free, somebody say free. Free. Spiritual resources that are available to you. And we want to get those to you as soon as possible. So connect with us so we can connect with you. Glory to God. All right, repeat after the man of God. I tie. And keep on tithing. I give and keep on giving. I receive and keep on receiving. Good measure. Press down. Shaking together. And running over. Shout out out of debt. Come on, y'all. We got to get this. Come on, get it in the atmosphere. Shout out out of debt. My needs are met. know that we are to worship the Lord yes, yes, yes. not because of what we can get from him amen. amen but simply because of who he is amen amen amen, amen. so I'm just going to share this song with you on this morning um, because of who you are yes, we give God the glory and the honor and the praise amen
because of who you are, I give you glory. Yes, yes. Because of who you are, I give you praise. Because of who you are, I will lift my voice and say, Lord, I worship you because. Jump. 
all day. Amen. Amen. So I hope you want to appreciate the gift. Amen. Amen. And again, uh, Pastor, we honor you Amen. because Amen. you bring all the gifts to the house. Amen. 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 And we thank the Lord for you. Yeah. Thank you. Now, um, you all know I got to cut across the line, but that does not concern me uh, because I preach to you all all the time. And so uh, I'm looking forward already to next Sunday. Say amen. amen. Uh, but be with us uh, because we're going to continue with our precepts. Um, house parties are going. House prayer parties are back on Saturdays. Amen. Yes, amen. Five, so yes. Yes. And so um, we, we have enough to keep you in word and prayer. Amen. Yes. Amen. Uh, I had uh, somebody tell me, Bishop, you got us doing a lot. Amen. Well, uh, well. Yeah. Uh, see, she ain't lifted her head. She know who said it. Amen. You got us doing a lot. I do. Amen. Praise it's gonna God. Be, it's it's going to be word and prayer. Amen. I ain't looking at you. I'm looking over here. It's going to be word and prayer. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 3. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 3. Let's make a confession over this word. Ephesians chapter 3, chapter 4. Chapter 4 and verse 3. Repeat after the man of God. I hold in my hand. I hold in my hand. The Bible. The Bible. It is the living word of God. It is the living word of God. It is the sword of the spirit. It is the sword of the spirit. In this book. In this book. Are my promises. Are my promises. In this book. In this book. Is my power. In, my power. in this book. In this book. Is my potential. In my potential. I can have. I can have. What it says I can have. What it says I can have. I can do. I can what it says I can do. I can be what it says I can be. I am a believer, not a doubter. I am a hearer and a doer of this word. My faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. I'm ready for this word. Look at somebody tell me I will not be distracted. I'm ready for this word. My life will be changed. Never, ever, ever. Never, ever, ever. ever, ever. To be the same in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. All right, there you go. Amen. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 3. Endeavoring. 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 That's it. Endeavoring. Endeavoring is the most powerful participle in this pericope. Endeavoring, when you see that I-N-G there, in the English, it is usually a participle that is telling you that there is an action that is taking place continually. That ING kind of gives you an idea that something is in process. Walk in, run in, stand in, eat in. It is something that is currently in action. Endeavoring. Everything that you read in verses 2 and 1 are being held up by endeavoring. When Paul says that he wants us to stay in the unity of the spirit, he says that can only happen if you're committed to endeavoring. You need to bring loneliness and meekness and an attitude of symphony and harmony into the life of ministry and family. But the only way you're going to pull that off is if, if you are willing to endeavor. Somebody say endeavor. Here's how it reads in another translation. Make every effort. Make every effort. Endeavoring. Make every effort. Endeavoring. Be eager. Look at somebody telling be eager. Be eager. Endeavoring. Paul says, for what I'm calling you to do, you're going to have to be eager on this. What I'm calling you to do, you're going to have to make every effort and it is make every effort to be connected 
It's make every effort to make sure you are with the people who God has assigned you to be with. Every one of us knows what it is to be around somebody or somebody's who you discover, I'm not really assigned. You just wake up one day and you figure it out. Oh, we're not really supposed to be connected. Because what connected us was carnal and what connected us was just you like colors and you like shopping and you like malls and you like movies and that's not enough to keep me connected because I'm going to run into some things and I'm going to need some word and I need to be connected to people who have some word. It's going to be something to jump off in my life and I'm going to need to be connected to people who pray and not just people who are cute. Somebody who can pour into my life. Look at somebody and tell them make every effort. Tell them be eager to be connected. It is so easy to isolate in this hour. And we use post-pandemic pathologies to keep us from reconnecting. But what I've discovered is that there were some people who had disconnected before COVID. All right, I'm gonna try that over here. There were some people who had disconnected before COVID, and then they used COVID as a reason for why they got disconnected. Well, you weren't going to church hardly before COVID. All right, I'm gonna preach anyway. You got to make every effort. You're going to have to be eager and press in to what is supposed to be connecting to your life. Look at somebody tell them, I need to be connected. Uh, I said too many times we've just been attached. When you are attached to somebody, they will become a leech in your life. You don't just need to be attached to people because people will attach themselves to you just to get your gifting and just to get your anointing and just to get your calling and just to get your body and just to get your beauty and get your ideas and get your vision. They'll connect to you or rather attach to you because they want to leech Last week. 
I need some of that. Yeah. <laughs> story is told about a man that was sitting on his porch. And uh, he was watching this little feist dog barking around in the yard. So I remember saying, you know what a feist dog is. Mm -hmm. A little, little, yeah. little chihuahua. I think he's bigger than life. Yeah. He's just around there running everything. Nipping and nipping, nipping. And nipping. Yeah. A bulldog came walking down the street. Yeah. Little feist dog broke out the yard. He was chased behind the bulldog, snapping at his heels. Bulldog didn't stop. Just kept on walking. He ran around the bulldog trying to get the bulldog's attention. Bulldog didn't change his stride or his step. He just kept on walking down the street. Feist dog got tired. Turned around, went back up on the porch and sat up. The man watched that and he went into his room and kneeled on his bedside. He said, Lord, I don't know what you gave that bulldog. But I need you to give me some of that. Who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? Stuff nipping at your heel, been biting at you all week, trying to keep you frustrated, trying to keep you irritated, trying to get you agitated. But you gonna stay focused. You're not gonna lose your stride. You're not gonna lose your step this week. You gonna keep on doing. Was in the Lord's house. Now they mess up 
your order and you go right back. They, they overcharge you, you saw it and you still went back. You, oh, y'all ain't talking now. You ain't stopped going there because they offended you. I don't like how she treated me. Well, why you keep going the same way then? They keep going back there. If they offended you that bad, why you ain't got store hurt?
metamorphosis. That the strength of the butterfly's wings
and the Father mm. are one. Yes. 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 I and the Father are one. You see what oneness produced? Do you see what a proper relationship can create? Where was God when Jesus was being crucified? Paul says, Second Corinthians five nineteen, God was in Christ, reconciling the world back to Himself. Where was God? God was one in Christ, and because they were merged and married, look at look at what they produced on a hill far away. I need my Bible readers. Look what they produced. Snatched the crown from Satan's head. Shifted time and eternity. Made heaven available. Put a thief in the paradise. Gave Mary a son. Gave John a mama. Forgave every sin. Put his life in the hands of his father. Bound every devil. Went into the grave. Unless you're properly connected. Speak, Bishop. Tell it. And so on the way to the cross, Luke calls it his passion. Y'all saw the movie, didn't you? Oh, yes. His passion. You can't fulfill God's purpose without some passion. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. That's right. I'm not going to be balanced. Mm -hmm. So you can quit waiting on that. <laughs> well. He'll calm down when he get a little older. No, I'm not. Oh, no. balanced. He's going to mind that. He's just going to feel you. No, I'm not. 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 <laughs> I'm taking my passion all the way into eternity. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's it. Because you can't do what God's called you to do without some passion. Yeah. Right. Jesus didn't even do what he did without some passion. So when you get up on a Friday, you get up on a Wednesday, you go see the homeless, you see after those in the tent, it ought to be because. Yeah. Glory! Come on now. People will try to pull you away from what you're called to do. But if you have a passion for what you're called to do, you'll never get far away from what you're called to do. I love to lead the people of God in worship. It's my passion. I preach and teach Bible studies to myself. It's my passion. I record myself and just watch myself. It's my passion. Yesterday, you can stand to your feet right now. We used to play church as kids coming up. Oh, yeah. Oh, at Mother Mitchell's. The Teals and the Mitchell's. We'd be playing church. My sister was always going to be the usher. She was going to control everything on the floor. I didn't want to be the deacon. We know. Yeah, we know. But, <laughs> I ain't going to be no choir member. I won't be the pastor. I won't be the preacher. All right. All right. All right. And the servant Emerson, we would turn the dresser around. <laughs> you know, remember, they used to have something on the back of the dresser. They had something on the back of the dresser. So we turned that around and make it look like a poop. <laughs> I stand behind there and play like I was saying so. Yay. 
Little did I know. I was in my passion. The Lord was already making me evil. Willing to make every effort. Yes. Staying connected is not easy. Right. Especially when you gotta do it with flawed people. Yes.
Lord, for somebody who perhaps prayed that prayer with us, reach out to us now. Don't wait another minute. No procrastination. Reach out to the media team. Info, I-N-F-O, at isthehope.org. Check your local listings for the House for Prayer. If you have not done so, subscribe to House for Prayer Network on YouTube. If you have not done so yet, share. Push that button that says share. Take us international. Take us global. Make us exponential. And we are counting on you to put us in places we could not be if it were not for you. Continue to keep the Bryant family lifted in prayer. We love you, Mother Bryant. We love the Henderson family. Come on, give them love. We love you. We are with you. We're looking forward to celebrating life. Celebrating life. And we're blessing the Lord for every year, for every day. And remember this, Mom. The Lord told us to number our days, not to count them. Okay. Well, okay. Yes. 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 If you count days, you'll be frustrated with God. Because you'll never think he gives us enough days. Especially when it's a young life. We can blame God because we'll think didn't get enough days. But the Lord never told us to count days. The Lord said number them. And the reason you number them is because you got to make every day matter. Every day needs to be filled with the purpose of God so it won't matter how long you live. The time that you did live, you lived for him. Can you give the Lord a praise for that? We're with you. We're with you. Has anything come to my attention? What is the protocol? Executive pastor. Please come. One announcement I forgot. The first Sunday after we have brought our keep offerings, uh, we will go with Bishop to Greater St. John. Yes, that's first Sunday. Yeah. July. July. August. first Sunday. Oh, okay. Never mind. Thank you. Yes. Yes. While you get it, get an understanding. But next Sunday, we go to Greater St. John after yes. our yes. service. Yes. 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 Sixth of the month. Sorry. Yes. Give Pastor. God bless you. That's what we take the Pastor do. Make sure we don't jump. So thank you, Pastor. All you get it. Get it understood. Hallelujah. Make sure you're loving on the members of Holy Cross on your way out. If you meet them, greet them, love on them, appreciate them. And every time you see Pastor Usher, whatever you did last Sunday, do that again. Amen. Amen. So may the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you, lifting up his countenance upon you. May the Lord give you peace in your rising up as well as your laying down, in your work as well as your leisure, in your going out as well as your coming in. May the name of the Lord be written over your life. We speak it all in the high and holy name of he who is Lord, Savior, and Christ, none the less than Jesus. Everyone who agrees, say amen. 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 Look at someone tell them, you're going to have a wonderful week. Tell them you're going to have a wonderful week. Tell them you are going to have a wonderful week. Don't you leave until you love. Don't you leave until you love. Oh.